Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and I want to tell you about the new GPS map 67i. Can you tell which one it is? Which one's the 66i and which one is the 67i? I can't tell by looking at the back. So before we get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Okay, the real easy way to tell on this is one of them says GPS map, and the other one says GPS map 66i. That's the 66i. Why doesn't the 67i say 67i? I'm not sure. I don't work for Garmin. They didn't ask me. All right, so they are exactly the same, the same case. There is zero difference on these devices, at least physically. But there are some differences internally. Now, I am going to start a GPS map 67i training playlist. So I'm going to go over a lot of these things in much more detail. But I want to come out here and just tell you that real quick some of the more important things that I've seen that Garmin has done with the 67i. What are the main differences that I've seen with the new 67i? And I just got it a few days ago, but this is what I've seen by looking at the menu and doing some little bit of research on it. Number one is the battery life. I was so irritated with the 66i when it came out. I did some testing with the 66i, but then I went out on the Colorado Trail, segment one, and I think that trail is about 14 miles long, and we didn't finish the whole thing. I started getting altitude sickness or feeling nauseous. My son and my nephew went on. My daughter and I had turned back, and I still covered 14 miles or so, but in that time, within a half a day of hiking, the battery on this thing, which was, full, it was fully charged, I think it says it lasts like a day and a half if you're doing 10 minute tracking, something like that. I'll have all that information up on the screen. But we were two-way messaging so much that a half a day had gone by and I was down to 25% on my battery life. So battery life is number one. I know I've gotten sidetracked a little bit because several things have, have happened as I've been training and using these devices where battery life is extremely important. The 66i, I'm sorry Garmin, sucks on the battery life. There are ways that you can actually improve the battery life on the 66i. I have a video on that, it'll show up right here, and it's also gonna be in the description below. It will take that battery life on the 66i from a day and a half to about a week and longer. But if you're gonna use it a lot and you're gonna have it on, you're gonna be checking the maps and you're gonna be navigating by it, realize your battery life is gonna be worse and you need to carry a portable charger with you, not only for the device, but also for your phone if it's synced. The second thing that's great about the 67i is it now can use the Messenger app just like the Mini 2. The Mini 2 was the only one that could use that Messenger app until just this week. I say this week, that's when I saw the notification that the 67i came out. So it uses that Messenger app. The Messenger app can go from Wi-Fi cell service to satellite service seamlessly without you doing anything. But remember, if you're using satellites, you need to be outside to have a clear view of the sky. So that Messenger app is, is powerful and I really like it. I use it all the time now for my Mini 2 and my 67i. When I'm messaging, you can also get weather and you can then call SOS also. All right, third thing that I can think of right now, you can get an annual subscription for these maps that give you a lot more detail than the maps they used to have. Now, they, the maps they used to have had a lot of detail. I'm talking about detail as in parcels of land, public land, private land boundaries, hunting units, because here in Colorado, if you get drawn for an elk hunt, it'll be for a certain unit and you got to know that you're in that particular unit and it costs 49.95 i think for this annual subscription but to me it's worth it i bought the hunt view maps for colorado and that was 90 dollars and it's basically $90 for every state. But this annual subscription to these maps is, yes, it's $50, but $50 you get all, I think. I'm gonna be careful here and I'll have the screenshot up, but $50 annually for every state. If we're just talking about the US, for every state, instead of going and paying $90 for the states you want, huge savings. I really like that. That was a big positive for me. It may not be for you, but it has been for me. Another thing that I really liked what they did is the menu. 
Now the menu is very, I would say complicated. It's not so much it's complicated, there's just so much there. But you can go and in, in, on the 66i and the 67i, you can go into the settings and you can then get rid of menu items. You can rearrange them so the things you use the most are at the top and you're not scrolling down through 30 items. But on the 67i, what they've done is they have reduced the number of menu items that are there to start with. The default setting is, is less. And then at the bottom of the page, there's a plus icon. So then it's easier than to go and add another menu item that you don't have that you want. So on the main menu here, there's a lot of things are exactly the same. They do have a map manager now, and that's where if you get these outdoor maps or the subscription to outdoor maps and you may not be able to see it here, but I will get a screenshot of it. Then you download it here on this map manager. Then let's see what else do they have here. A lot of these looks exactly the same, but there's fewer menu items. Now there are more things about the 67i that I'm telling you here that uh, that it has over the 66i. But those are the some of the things that are the most important to me. And number one was that battery. Going from a day and a half to a week now with the 10 minute tracking and if you're using the in-reach technology, that's just huge. I don't like to be out on a trail and for one day all of a sudden you're down and you're losing your battery life. That's that's well, that was just bad. Sorry, Garmin, I, I love your products, but that was not good. The 67i fixes that. Having those maps so you can see the public private boundaries, uh, having the subscription for you know $50 a year and you get you get all the maps across the US. That's awesome. And and then having the access to the Messenger app. Those, again, those are the three of the biggest things for me. There are things that I'm missing here. I will put them on the screen, other things that the 67 has over the 66. But I just wanted to come out here and give you my first impressions. And I'm going to create here, starting this week, a GPS map 67i training playlist. And I will walk through each one of these as I've done with the 66i. So keep an eye out for that. It'll be heading your way soon. And please leave comments below. Anything you've seen, if you've been using this, checking it out, advice, tips, go ahead and leave those because I love talking to you guys and, and you help me learn and that helps me make these videos better for other people. Thanks for joining me here again. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I send out new videos. And again, thanks for joining me out here in Colorado and I will see you in the next video.